previous games, NPCs didn't really care if you carried a weapon openly unless you directly threatened them. However, in GTA 6, Rockstar Games appears to be taking a cue from Red Dead Redemption 2, where people would become tense or strict if you carried a weapon openly. In order to make the game feel more realistic and give your actions more consequences, GTA 6 aims to create a more lifelike world. For instance, if you walk down the street with a gun out, someone might say, holy crap, that guy has a gun, or a shopkeeper might warn, no weapons in here put it away, or I'm calling the cops. But theoretically speaking, what if one of those reactions will be a naughty one? Something like if the character's outfit shows a lot of skin or something like that, they will be bashful or someone like a stripper will invite you to a motel. Who knows, right? Would love that, probably. Anyways, let's get back to business. So, am I worried GTA 6 won't be much different from GTA 5? Not in the slightest. From the gameplay possibilities to the insane level of detail, Rockstar is clearly putting every everything they've gotten to this game. Hey everyone, today we're diving into one of the hottest debates in the GTA community. Will GTA 6 be that much better than GTA 5 or are we setting ourselves up for disappointment? But before we get started, don't forget to smash the like and subscribe button for more awesome content. Former Rockstar Games dev, Abi Verma shared his thoughts in an interview, and let me tell you, his take has stirred the pot big time. According to him, GTA 6 might not be wildly different from GTA 5, and he thinks some people's expectations might be a little too high. Now, I don't know about you, but I completely disagree. Lowering our expectations for what's likely the most anticipated game of the decade, that just doesn't sit right with me. Let's talk about it. Abi explained his reasoning, saying it's harder to make big leaps in gaming now compared to the past. Past. He used the example of the jump between PlayStation 1 and 2, which was huge, versus the more incremental upgrades between PS4 and PS5. Basically, he thinks the slower pace of tech advancements might limit how revolutionary GTA 6 can be. On one hand, sure, I get it. Gaming tech isn't moving quite as fast as it was back in the 2000s, but let's not forget something major here. GTA 5 was first released for consoles from 2005 and 2006. That's nearly 20 years ago. The leap from those old systems to today's hardware is massive. If Rockstar has been crafting this game specifically for next-gen consoles like the PS5 and Xbox Series X, there's no reason it shouldn't blow our minds. Let's go back to when GTA 4 transitioned to GTA 5. That jump wasn't just about better graphics. It was about a richer, more detailed world deeper gameplay systems, and way more freedom. Now we're talking about a game that's been in the works for over a decade. Even if development officially started after RDR2's release in 2018, that's still a ton of time to innovate. Think about it, GTA 5, despite being re-released on newer consoles, was built for hardware that's basically ancient by today's standards. Meanwhile, GTA 6 is being developed for cutting edge systems from the ground up. This isn't just an upgrade, it's a whole new playground. So what makes me so confident that GTA 6 will be a revolution? Let's start with the trailer. Did you see how incredible everything looked? The lighting, the water, the sheer density of NPCs, it's next level. Let's break it down. Number one, water physics reports suggest Rockstar hired an entire team of engineers just to work on water physics. That's right, a team dedicated to making the oceans, rivers, and pools look and feel amazing. Does that mean we'll finally get to surf or dive into more water-based activities? I'm I'm betting, yes. Number two, NPCs with real lives. Remember how immersive RDR2's NPCs were? They had schedules, personalities, and routines that made the world feel alive. Now imagine that in a modern day setting with NPCs walking their dogs, throwing backyard parties, or just hanging out at the beach. It's not just background fluff, it's what makes the world feel real. Number three, dynamic environments. From the trailer, we've already seen massive yachts hosting parties, cargo ships carrying containers, and even tiny tiny boats zipping around. Water bodies in GTA games have always been kind of meh, but GTA 6 looks like it's breathing new life into them. Another big shift is the move from three protagonists in GTA 5 to two in GTA 6, Jason and Lucia. Some fans think this is a step backward, but I see it as an opportunity. With just two characters, Rockstar can focus more on their relationship, possibly exploring deeper storytelling themes like trust, betrayal, and even romance. If Jason and Lucia really are inspired by Bonnie and Clyde, then the dual protagonist system makes perfect sense. 
Plus, if we're given choices to shape their dynamic, whether they're partners in crime or something more personal that could add a whole new layer to the game. Now, some people think GTA 6 has been in development for over 10 years, but that's not entirely accurate. While some early ideas were probably kicked around after GTA 5's release, full development likely didn't start until after RDR 2 in 2018. Even with the delays, that's still a long time in gaming years. What's exciting is how much the industry has evolved during this period. Rockstar Star has undoubtedly learned a ton from RDR2, from NPC AI to environmental storytelling, and with a rumored $2 billion budget, we're looking at one of the most ambitious games ever made. Let's geek out for a second. Rockstar isn't just reusing old tricks, they filed patents for advanced animation systems and rendering techniques. These new systems aim to make characters respond more naturally to their surroundings, weather, and other NPCs. That means we could see more dynamic combat, smarter AI, and environments that feel truly alive. For instance, NPCs might duck for cover during a shootout or react realistically to the rain. Even the graphics rendering tech they're using is designed to push visuals to the next level while keeping performance smooth. Of course, not everything will be better. Some features like having fewer protagonists might feel like a step back to some players. But I think it's all about trade-offs. By focusing on Jason and Lucia, Rockstar can deliver a tighter, more engaging narrative. And while the leap in graphics may not feel as revolutionary as past generations, GTA 6 is shaping up to be one of the best looking games we've ever seen. From realistic hair physics to improved lighting and reflections, the attention to detail is insane. At the end of the day, GTA isn't just about how it looks, it's about the world Rockstar creates. It's about the chaos, the humor, and the freedom to do whatever you want in a living, breathing city. Everything we've seen so far points to GTA 6 doubling down on these strengths. Rockstar is a studio that thrives on delivering not just a game, but an experience. And every tiny detail they've teased shows they're aiming higher than ever before. From dynamic NPCs with realistic routines to cutting edge physics systems, the upcoming game feels like it's been designed to immerse players in ways we've never seen before. Even something as small as improved water physics hints at Rockstar's ambition to make every aspect of the game engaging. Add to that the potential for deeper character relationships, a dynamic storyline, and advanced visual fidelity and it's clear that they're building something truly groundbreaking. So while I understand the concerns about whether GTA 6 will feel different enough from its predecessor, everything we've seen suggests Rockstar is evolving the formula while staying true to what makes the series so beloved. And honestly, that's why I'm confident this game will blow us all away. But what about you? Are you hyped for GTA 6? Do you think it'll live up to the expectations or are you keeping your excitement in check? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more GTA content. Let's keep the conversation rolling and fuel the hype together. I believe we were able to cover the majority of the interesting things that came up, but if there is anything noteworthy, please let me know in the comments section below. All right, guys, thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy, hit the like button and the subscribe button. Leave a comment down below of what you guys thought of this video. And yeah, we will see you guys in the next video. Peace out.